Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how I use the mixer brush tool to fill in some gaps really quickly when I'm manipulating an image. So I'm just going to move the zygomatic bone just so it gives a bit more of a nice kind of feminine curve to it. At the moment it's a little bit angular. So I'm just going to select the area that I want to move and then go up to edit, transform and then go to warp and then just give it a little nudge until I think it's in the position that I like. And you can see on the edge that it will start leaving this white gap. So what we can do is go and use our mixer brush tool and I normally have it on uh, these settings just to start off with. And then what you do is you just go straight in and just give the brush a wiggle and it will capture that colour information from around where your cursor is and just kind of mush it together. So this is a really easy way to just quickly fill in any gaps or to kind of merge your colours together without having to go into your brush and keep colour picking and going back and forth. If you've got bigger areas like this with more contrast, I just make my brush bigger and just give it a really light kind of wiggle and it just kind of blends them together, kind of like oil paint. Um, and then you can also go back into um, the kind of mix settings and sometimes with things like this it's better just to use like a moist light mix. You can just experiment with this until you find find the correct settings for exactly what you're using it for. So you can see that that really quickly just filled up that gap and I've managed to move the zygomatic bone to where I want it to be and you can also kind of use it to paint and push around the colours slightly so I can take this lighter colour and kind of move it up and kind of sculpt with that as well. So just thought I'd give you an overview of that just if it comes in useful for you anytime in the future and thank you for watching guys.